hey, we had something real world happen here after I applied that access list at the end of the previous video and I wanted to share this with you. I had left the OSPF adjacencies in place from a previous video. Uh, I usually just erase the configs before I start another lab, but I didn't do that this time because I wanted to show you this great real world effect. When we created that ACL that permitted 172.12.12.0, you know, sourced from there and denied everything else, uh, what that did, it blocked the OSPF hello packets that were coming from previous neighbors 2 and 4 uh, who were not on the 172.12.12.0 network. So what happened here was when they started coming in right after I put it on there, you know, we got a list here, you know, denied a packet, denied a packet, denied a packet. You won't always get these depending on how your logs are set, but you will get this at the end of sh in the output of show access list. You'll notice it says here, deny any log, you know, 30 matches. It also says how many packets were checked there. Here's deny any log, 50 matches a few minutes later, uh, and not that many minutes later, but my neighbor relationships, as you can see, had already gone down. Show IP OSPF neighbor showed nothing. So that's a great real world lesson because listen, I've done it, other people have done it, you might do it one day too. And here's the thing with ACLs. If you apply one, you know, you can do, you can go off to a room by yourself and write it out and you think you've got it all figured out and you apply it. And, you know, a few seconds later, something starts going wrong or adjacencies are lost. Something happens. Uh, it is definitely the ACL you just wrote. And I know that a lot of you out there are saying, wow, really? You know, thanks, thanks for the blinding glimpse of the obvious. It is obvious, but you'd be amazed how many people will deny it when it's them. You know, no, the ACL I just put on there is not what's responsible for those adjacencies going down. Well, yeah, it is. It's not just coincidence. So the best thing you can do is just remove the access list immediately, make sure the adjacencies come back up, which they should, and once they have, then look at the ACL and say, okay, here's the other traffic that I need to allow in order to keep my OSPF adjacencies. But just wanted to show that to you because you can just write an ACL and then you remember, oh yeah, OSPF hellos, they need to go through. So this is also how that log can help you with the explicit deny. Because uh, when you write that out and put log on, you'll actually get this. If we had left that off, then we wouldn't be seeing those you know, 50 matches against the deny log. So a real world word of warning there. I said that correctly. And now we'll march on to the next vid.